Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said that submarines supplied by Germany to Israel were an important addition to Israel's national security. On Monday, a German newspaper reported that submarines produced by Germany and supplied to Israel as part of an extensive arms deal were capable of launching nuclear-tipped cruise missiles, despite insistence by German Chancellor Angela Merkel that the submarines provided to Israel were not nuclear-capable. While Netanyahu was not asked about the submarines' nuclear capabilities, he did say that it was important that the Jewish state knew how to defend itself against all threats. Israel is considering the purchase of three more German submarines, in addition to the six it has already bought, three of which are already in Israel. Germany will absorb a third of the cost of the deals and allow Israel to delay payment of its part until 2015. IDF Chief of Staff Benny Gans told the Knesset Foreign Affairs and Defense Committee that Israel's preparedness to attack Iran was a deterrent for Tehran to give up on nuclear weapons. Gans added that if Israel were to be a credible military threat, they needed to be ready, and according to him, they were. The IDF chief explained that Iran had yet to determine whether to use its nuclear capabilities for weapons, but that Israel was prepared for either scenario. Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas urged Israel to accept a two-state solution based on 1967 borders, warning that the opportunity would not stay on the table for long. Abbas set out the Palestinian case for statehood and full UN membership at a World Economic Forum conference in Istanbul, stressing that membership of the United Nations should not prejudice negotiations with Israel. Turkish Prime Minister Erdogan told the conference the Palestinian issue remained the most important problem threatening peace and stability in the region, and that there was mounting anger with Israel over its policies. Days after the IDF admitted it uses cyberspace to attack its enemies, additional details were revealed Tuesday on the way soldiers are trained to defend military networks from cyber attacks. Elbit Systems, a leading Israeli defense contractor, unveiled its new cyber simulator, which was purchased by the IDF C41 Directorate. The simulator was developed specifically to train government and military personnel on how to protect critical infrastructure and sensitive computer networks. The simulator offers training to prevent cyber warfare by simulating network protection scenarios. Golan Telecom announced that it has recruited more than 50,000 subscribers three weeks after its launch. The cell phone company launched two mobile plans on May 14th with the best deals on the market. Since then, there have been many customer complaints about the ability to switch to it and about reaching customer service. In response, the carrier said this was due to the unprecedented overload, which caused delays, including in the registration process, but that it was working hard to solve the problems.